Bona Sefue and welcome again to episode of Moment, Moment with, with, with the Pastor. As we meditate upon these words, the book of um, Psalm 116, verse 12, was you no know, a point where a man of God called David asked, he spoke to himself, he was speaking to his soul. He was reminding himself of the journey he had walked, and he said, what shall I render to the Lord? Now, this question, we really want to look at what are the benefits, what are all these benefits that David is talking about? And there are some of them are well listed in Psalm number 103. But before we lead them, let's have a moment of prayer. Lord, we bless you. And we thank you for this good moment. And as we speak, as we share, and as we go through your word, may you help us, God Almighty, also to have a moment like it was with David, like and we can, that we can look around and see the kind of benefits we have received from God. That God, we can intentionally have a moment to thank you, o Lord. This is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read together from Psalm 103. From verse 1 down there to verse number 5. It says, Praise the Lord, O my soul, O my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And yet they are. Who forgives all your sins and heals you all your diseases? Who redeems you, your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? What a word. That all the benefit David is talking about, they are geared into one simple thing getting us going and going strong. That's why it talks about being renewed like the ego. He satisfies us with good things. Now, David is talking to his soul. He's talking to himself. He is calling himself into a conscious decision. This is after reflection, you know, having a moment to go through his life and he has come into a conclusion that this is how much he has received, part of what he has received from God, which is good enough for him to worship God. And he says, oh my son, don't forget all the benefits. He is not talking about some, he talks about all the benefits. It is an emphasis. And all David is doing you know, he is looking at him, his life, the experience he has with God, and the things he has gone through, the journey he has walked since you know, he was born and when he became aware of things around him. And at the end of the day, what he can say, he says, bless the Lord, O my soul. And that whatever is in me, that means the whole self. Let me worship my God. Let me bless my God. Let me bless his name. And he says, oh, my soul, and not forget all the benefits. Now, when you think about these blessed or blessed benefits, we all need a moment to relax for a moment. We need a moment to sit down and ask ourselves, what do we have to worship God for? And David says, one thing that he cannot forget about God that he is calling his, himself and entire self to worshiping God, he says, it is because this Lord is our Savior and Redeemer because he says he forgives all our iniquity. All our iniquity. You know, the biggest problem with man, the biggest challenge that a man has is dealing with with himself in terms of righteousness. Because this, when it talks about being forgiven, God forgives our sins, 
in the past, now, and even days to come. And actually, our biggest problem or yeah, guilt that we have is of our sins. And what we need most is to be forgiven and to know that we are in the light with God. And David has noted that God forgives him. He has noted that God is so merciful. And therefore he says, I cannot forget this because if you are not for God's forgiveness, I wouldn't be there myself. You know, we have messed so many times. We have grown up, you know, grown up charges of being this and the other. We have messed ourselves so much. But look at us how we are. When Loman tells us, if you say we have not sinned, we are in trouble. You know, when you think about that, then we have to be eager to be forgiven. And God, someone said, we are the greatest sinners. But we thank God because we have the greatest Savior and forgiver. And that is our Lord and Jesus Christ. And this David says, I cannot let this just go. You know why? God is eager to forgive. God is ready to forgive. And he wants to forgive us. And therefore, in that sense then, we must be willing also to be there, to be available for God and do the right thing. So and, and what we need to do to know is that David is saying, this is a benefit I have, a blessed benefit. And what is it? Forgiven. Number two, he says, another benefit is being healed of my disease. You can imagine if there is no healing. We have fallen sick, not once, not twice. Spiritual sickness, emotional sickness, psychological, spiritual, all these things have come more away. But you can imagine if God has been silent on us without healing. You can think about this corona without a vaccine that has brought so much hope to almost everyone, to all of us, for sure. You can imagine without that. He is a great physician, great healer. He is a Jehovah Rapha. You know, one who heals diseases. And this should always click in my mind and in our minds. So that we may always remember we have been sick, we have gotten healed. Sometimes we forget it is not just medicine which heals me. Sometimes you forget even those tablets you get, they are made by someone who has been blessed with wisdom by God and knowledge by God. And that's important to know. And most of these medicines are made from, from us, which can which grow sometimes in the world. In the forest, God just designed a way for us to get healed. And that's why David says, I cannot forget this. I've been sick not once, not twice, but look at me, I'm well. Because God heals us. He is Jehovah Rapha. And even now we can trust him enough. The other thing he says, he is our deliverer. He redeems us from life, from, from the pit. When our lives are so threatened, when we can see the hand, when we feel like now it's over, he comes and he gives us another moment. Trouble finds us, danger comes. We are always in crisis here and there. But we praise God because he has always been there to save us and to give us another life. And therefore, we need also to remember that and always be there to worship God. At least we need to slow down for a moment, look back from when, you know, when this problem of COVID came and to where we are. Is it because we have really covered our mouths and we have done so well? I can tell you no. Because even those who are passed on, some even had better facilities that we have than we have. But by grace of God, by love of God, here we are. It is God. And then number four, the Lord is telling us, no, the psalm is saying, he is the one who provides for me. He is the provider, the benefactor. 
he satisfies us with good things. Now, not just good things, but for a reason. He gives us those good reasons so that our youth is renewed. We are able to soar on high like yours. Now, when we talk about this, it's all the Lord is saying that every good gift, every perfect gift is from above. It comes from our Father. And this is something you should never forget. And this is why someone is called a little fool who thought all the goodies he had, the big harvest he had, was from his hard work. It's from God that we get. And David is simply challenging each one of us so that we realize that it is from God that we will have what we need to have. That it is from God that we have come the far we have come. And therefore being thankful for all these blessings and the benefits we have. Forgiveness, healing, protection, grace and mercy. The Lord gives this every day to us. And the best we can do is to slow down for a moment and tell God thank you. It will not cost us much because he's not asking us to give everything that he has given to us. But he just needs something to acknowledge, something just to say, God, I'm aware this has come from you. You have done so much to me. You know, there's a song that says, you have done so much for me. We need to, like David, we need to ask, what shall I lender for, to the Lord for all this goodness to me? And all we need to do is to accept. The first thing is to accept the Lord as our Savior. The other thing we need to do is to accept that we are not carrying ourselves through, but the Lord is doing it. So that as we do this with all the compassion and love he has shown to us, we will appreciate our Lord. The question is, what shall I render? And someone else is asking, what shall I do? One is thinking about expanding the store. Another one is you know, planning on how you know, to lift the cup of salvation and do and fulfill the vows as you worship God. What about you? What are you planning to do with your God, with all he has done to you? Don't forget all the Lord has done to you. For once, Accept that the Lord has walked you. He has satisfied you. He has filled you. You know, with so much, he has met all your needs and desires. It's our time to pause for a moment and carry our gifts to our Lord and tell our God, thank you. Even to be there and to be alive today, even to, you know, to see the things that I'm seeing today, it is by the grace of God. So may God be with you as we continue so looking at this, the word of God and looking at how much the Lord is teaching us each day. Let us not behave like the fool, rich fool, who forgot that from God he has received, but he thought everything has come from his hard work. Finally, as I end this this moment with God. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 105 and verse number 5. Remember the wonders he has done. His miracles and the judgment he pronounced. For a moment think about that. Remember his wonders, the wonders he has done and the miracles he has done. Just, just have a, have a walk in your life. Do you see any wonder that the Lord has done to you? Can you see any miracle in your life this far? Think about the things that have happened, which have happened in the world. What is that to you? And then the verse 8, he says, remember. No. He remembers 
his covenant. This is how beautiful the Lord is. He remembers his covenant. And what is this covenant? The covenant of grace is there. The covenant that he will be our God and that we will be his people. That's why he supplies us with our desires each day. He satisfies because there is a covenant. He walks us to a fulfillment. Remember his wonders. Remember his miracles. So as you take a moment to reflect on this, may God be with you. May God help you to see how far the Lord has walked you. May Lord help you to see who you are and what you have has come from his hands. This will help us to have a moment to worship the Lord. For he has done so much to us, so much that we may not be able to count. That's why the song goes, count your blessings one by one and be able to tell how blessed you are. So as you do the counting, the life, the children, the family, the work you have, the years you have lived as you do all this, the good health you have, the many times you have been healed, the many times the Lord has saved you from issues, as you take a moment to count, may the Lord Almighty walk be with you. May God our Lord help you to see that there is still future that we're going to go home. There is still wars that we need to win. There are still races we need to conquer to, to win. There are battles we need to conquer. And when we look at it that way, then it shall be well with us when we do it and we conquer with the Lord. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Lord Almighty, thank you for your word once again. Thank you for reminding us that there is so much for us to be grateful. Of oh, God. We have received so much. You have saved us, God. You have healed us, oh Lord. You have satisfied our needs. So, Lord Almighty, our energy has been renewed each day. This is out of your love. Lord, I help us to have a moment to pause that we can just say thank you. That we can walk into a church, Lord Almighty, into a holy place, Lord, and come with our thanksgiving and say, Lord, we know we have received from you. So, Lord Almighty, you can give the little we have back to you as an appreciation of your blessings. This far, God, you have blessed us. Walk with us, Lord Almighty, and grant us your favor even as we prepare. Lord Almighty, to come before thee with thanksgiving. Accept us, O Lord. Accept our prayers. Accept our worship, O God. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name.